So this is where we're at now, and I can't say that I'm surprised. After updates about flooding interfering with the transportation, my package going from Ybor City, which is less than two hours from my home, all the way across the country to Phoenix, Arizona, then back through Tennessee and North Carolina, I ordered this specific camcorder specifically because it was in Inglewood, Florida, less than three hours from my home, and I assumed it would be maybe three or four days max. And I know a lot of you say, just go to a thrift store, just go to a pawn shop. And the truth is, I've been calling around, I've been going, and it's actually pretty strange because there is nothing available. Not these camcorders, nor the specific VHS adapter that I would need to play this in a VCR. I mean, not only do I think people are overestimating what pawn shops and thrift stores have available, but it has been pretty strange. Um, the places that I have gone in person... More than one has told me that people have come in and bought what they had very recently, as in multiple products. And it is now looking like it's very possible that I will not receive this uh, camcorder that I ordered. It has been sitting like this for about three days now. I'm sure I'll get a refund, but that doesn't really help. All things considered, I try to keep a level head. I try not to jump to conclusions. But I've talked a lot about what I believe is on this tape. You know, there's a lot of things like this uh, involving my house and the family. And I don't know, it, it seems like maybe something doesn't want me to watch this. And I'm kind of questioning maybe whether I should. But honestly, I think I will. And, and I'm going to get something to do that soon. You'll see. No hate at all, but I'm using you to reply to a kind of idea and comment that I get from a lot of different people. And that is that uh, I can just, you know, get get something from people on here. People want to offer me, you know, they say they have a camcorder. They have the tape that I can use, the adapter, that I can just go to them. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, the truth is in my position and the things that I'm dealing with and the experiences that I've had, I am not in a position where I can trust strangers. I'm not involved with any kind of government organizations or church-affiliated groups for very similar reasons. Um, I'm not really reaching out to people that I don't know. I don't work with other kind of paranormal experts that you might call them. Um, I have to be very, very careful. I don't know who I can trust when it comes to these things. I've mentioned before, I've had people try to purchase things from me. They've been kind of aggressive about it. And I have had concerns about things being taken and I just have to be very, very, very careful with who I work with. So even though I, I really appreciate the offers and I love you guys, but people reaching out saying, oh, I've got this, I got this, I can help you. I'm just not in a position where I'm willing to give out my address, where I'm willing to meet with people that I don't know. Uh, I, I, I just, that would be very, very unsafe for me uh, for reasons that you could probably deduce on your own. So I get asked a lot um, what I do to protect myself and my family given the stuff uh, that I deal with here and the things that I, I have and go into. Um, and you know, there's a good reason why I don't disclose that kind of stuff now. Uh, if you've been here for a while, you know I used to reveal everything, um, but I've got a pretty good reason why I do not do that anymore. My ancestors wrote down many different practices and rituals to help protect from the things that they dealt with. And this home I've inherited is filled with things like magically imbued crucifixes, strange empowered medallions, likenesses of angels said to offer holy protection. And while these all seem to be connected to the church, they have other protections connected to different pagan deities, and through them the Fae, who seem to still be protecting the family to this day, with other protections still that seem to reach back further in history. These are the things that I have already shown, and likely will be the last that I ever do. If you followed for a long time, you likely remember when I opened this box, said to be a container of dark, magical, and cursed objects. I live-streamed the entire process, including the protections I used to open and reseal the box, giving very detailed, specific instructions. That same container would later start to act up before burning away completely. I am confident at this point that giving away the details of that protection was the downfall. It gave exact instructions to people outside the home that meant us harm on how to break through and unlock that container, as I'm now certain that dark practitioners outside the home do try to interact with the things inside of it, 